All right. Welcome to SAT Math Lesson 6, Geometry. Now, this is going to be easy geometry. We're going to do basic geometry with this lesson, advanced geometry in Lesson 7. So today we're going to be looking at angles, supplementary angles, complementary angles, vertical angles, uh, area, perimeter, triangles, all that stuff. But it's going to be the basic stuff, so it shouldn't be too hard since this is a review, right? So let's just go ahead and get right into the first problem. Okay, here is the first problem. Go ahead and pause the video, take a look at it, try to solve it, and come back. So in this problem, it says in the figure above, if L is parallel to M, if line L is parallel to line M, then the sum of the angle of measures of angles two and four must equal the sum of the measures of which of the following pairs. So if we look, we see two and four. Two and four are called vertical angles. Now, you might remember that vertical angles are always equal. So that's the case. But what other pair of angles might they uh, equal? Well, if we know that L and M are parallel, then uh, the angle formed by that transversal, that line that goes from uh, top to bottom, is called a transversal, the angles formed there must be the exact same angles that it forms with line L. So therefore, it's going to be the equivalent angles on line M, 6 and 8, thus making the answer to this D. Also, I want to say one more thing. Uh, you could look and just eyeball this, uh, this figure and see that 6 and 8 look like it's going to be uh, about the same as 2 and 4. Generally, that's, uh, that's valid enough. You can do that unless the problem says, note, uh, figure not drawn to scale. If it says that, you can't trust anything about it. In this case,